What is business development planning? Well, in short, it's the strategy for, for figuring out exactly how we will get the results it is that we're looking for. It's how we're going to achieve what it is that we want to achieve by setting into place specific growth strategies. It's the deliberate planning for growth and expansion. It's formally writing down our goals and our objectives for our business, as well as the strategies behind how we're actually going to achieve those. It may be looking at, uh, for instance, how many customers we want to attain on a daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, and yearly basis, how much turnover we want to gain um, from the business as a whole, how much money we want to be making roughly per customer. This is where we're really getting a very clear picture of where we're at now, where we want to go, and how we fill that gap so that our business grows either financially, preferably financially, Uh, and, uh, and in size so that we have more capacity to increase our turnover as well. So in short, that is a very snapshot uh, version, I can speak, of what business planning actually is. Now what it also incorporates is what we call a situation analysis, which is looking at uh, where our business currently is. We'd be first of all looking maybe externally. We might be looking at what is the current market doing? What's the industry doing? What are the trends out there? Uh, What's going on in our industry? What are our competitors doing? And how do we think we compare to those? How do we compare to everything that's going on out there in terms of the products and services we're offering, the prices we're charging, the customer experience that we're actually giving, you name it, there are a number of different things we need to be taking into consideration about the situation our company is in from an outside of our company point of view because all of those things then inform how we are faring from an internal point of view. So internally then, we are looking at the way we do things inside. This is more about the how we achieve what we need to be achieving in order to be competitive and profitable. So we'd be looking at a whole range of things. This is just an example of some of the criteria we're going to be assessing as we are trying to increase the profitability of our company and our customer base. We'd be looking at turnover, profits, we'd be looking at all of our expenses. We'll be looking at things like a cost per acquisition. So how much does it cost us to actually get a customer? Um, How hard do we have to work to convert that customer from a prospect to a paying customer? How much does it cost us to keep them and how much profit do we make from each of those scenarios? How hard do we have to work in order to turn over X amount of money? So therefore, how many customers do we have to get in front of and uh, expose our business products and services to? In what ways do we have to do that? How many of those people that we um, get our business exposed to do we then have to um, make into paying customers? How much do those paying customers have to pay and how often in order for us to hit our financial targets? So you can see that there are a ton of different considerations we have to make about the strengths and the weaknesses, the opportunities, the threats, the advantages and the problems that are going on both outside of our company and inside our company to ensure that we are setting ourselves up for business growth and financial profitability.